And it's just the, the law of attraction and putting these, putting this good stuff out there and knowing that that's all that can come back uh, is that reciprocated. I've, I've learned, especially recently, that the universe will never, ever, 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 ever be in debt to you. Whether you believe in resolutions or not, we all believe in setting goals and the importance, uh, the importance of that. Make sure, obviously, number one, that you're writing those goals down, but more importantly, make sure that you are speaking those goals into fruition. Make sure that you are communicating those goals with as many people as you can. Get it out there, speak them into fruition. It is a vital role of hitting them. Most, the most important person to speak those to is your spouse, your partner, your significant other. Set those expectations of what life's gonna look like in 2017 in order to hit those goals. When you talk about the law of attraction, like people talk about the law of attraction, like all of a sudden now, there's gonna be uh, you know smoke come up from, from the stage, we're gonna get some laser lights and get weird. But the law of attraction is the fact that I talked about 75 policies all week long, and lo and behold, at the end of the week, 75 policies. You start to think, speak, and act as if you already have it. That's what faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And you can either operate in fear or faith. Faith says, you know what? I might not have the most confidence right now. I might be a little scared of the situation right now. My marriage might not be where I want it to be right now. My financial, my, my checkbook when I open up is not where I need to be right now. But you know what? I'm gonna start to think, speak, and act as if I'm already on the other side. I'm gonna, I might be losing right now, but I'm gonna start to think, speak, and act as if I'm scoring touchdowns. I'm gonna start to think, speak, and act as if I'm closing deals, as if my marriage is better. And to me, level 2.0 or, or the next level is being grateful for what you're about to have. Be grateful for the things that you are going after. Uh, to me, takes it to another level. You can call it the law of attraction, but to, to physically um, be grateful for those things, to speak those things into existence. Like we talk all the time about these things that, that are coming five years down the road, 10 years down the road. And we're grateful for them now as though it's already happened. Set those expectations now. And as you set those expectations, start planning out little trips and, and little mini vacations to reward yourself. Say, hey, look, I'm gonna work my nuts off for the next three months, but hey, let's plan a little vacation for three months out. That way we have something to work towards. You've got something to look forward to, that you're, you're on this plan together and you both know the expectations, you know what the goals are, you know what you gotta do to get them. It just makes it so much more powerful. At the end of the day, you want to achieve your goal and this is gonna help you do it. Amanda Maccabee, who, who we work with here at, at our home office, um, she has this process of writing a letter, um, kind of detailing out all the things that will have happened in past tense. So yeah. <laughs> I'm so grateful for this happening, this happening, this happening. So if you think about that and you take that um, and you just start thinking about writing out you know, details about who that person is. Yeah. So man, like I'm so grateful for these things and that I've become this and the way I handle situations this way and uh, the way I do this, the way I look, the way I feel and start really visualizing 